Hey guys, so I'm doing something a little different on my vlog channel, as you can tell. Um, I decided that I'm going to also include some like tag videos on my vlog channel, or just like other videos that aren't beauty or fashion, or like DIY, even though I don't really do DIY, kind of videos that would normally go on my main channel. I'm going to put them here on my vlog channel, so I have more videos coming more frequently. I'm going to try very hard to upload once a week on this channel. I'm not really sure yet what day I want the upload to be, so just kind of like, I don't know, stay tuned, I guess, and check back. Um, but I do am going to still like vlog as well. My life is just so boring right now. It's like second semester, it's winter, I'm a full-time student, I'm a full-time employee, so like I don't have a lot of like free time. My weekends are normally busy with work and it's just like not a fun time to vlog right now. I feel like my vlogs are going to be super boring. So this way I can like do fun videos to put up here and you can know me more and it's just honestly what I want to do. So I'm going to do it. So today I am doing the what's it called? What kind of girl am I tag? My friend LJ from what is her a journey east is her beauty channel. A journey east vlogs I think is her vlog channel. I I don't really remember, but she's always listed in my like featured channel on like my homepage of this channel. Did I say channel a lot? And I'll leave her listed down below. But she did this tag, and I was like, this tag looks super fun and really cool, and I'm going to do it. So it's just a fun, light tag video. So we're going to get started with the questions, which are on my phone. So question number one is, you're doing makeup. Do you conceal before or after foundation? Um, I definitely conceal after foundation. I know it's kind of just like a personal preference, and I don't really know why I do that. It's just what I prefer. I don't know. I just feel like gives me more coverage. I really don't know, it's just what I've always done. Unless I'm using the brightener, um, what is that concealer called from Maybelline? Uh, in, in, eraser Dark Circle one, do you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like a stick with like the foamy top on it and then they have like the brightener kind which is like a pinky tinge to it. I will put that one underneath my foundation because it's just very pink on my like very yellowy Skin, so it looks very weird if I put it on top of like a yellowy based foundation It's just very pink on my eyes, but it does really work to cancel out darkness So I'll put it underneath my foundation number two you're in a store and knock something over Do you pick it up or turn around and pretend it didn't happen? I definitely pick it up. I worked in retail since God, I think I got my first like retail job at 16 so I worked retail for a long time and I understand the pain of having to like pick up someone else's like problem. Pick it up. Like be nice. Like I know you're thinking it's their job to pick it up, but like you can pick it up. It's just be kind. I don't know. It sucks. Retail sucks. If you work retail, man, props to you. I'm sorry and <laughs> it won't last forever, I promise. Number three, you're in the mall parking lot and notice someone left their headlights on. Do you see if the doors are open and turn them off or ignore it? I definitely wouldn't. I would never go into someone's car even if it was unlocked. That's so weird. Who would actually do that? If you see that someone left their headlights on, would you honestly like try and see if their door is unlocked? And if it is, would you go into their car and turn it off? Probably I wouldn't even know how to turn their headlights off and I'd end up like setting the alarm off and the windshield wipers would be going so that would definitely not happen and that's just weird and uncomfortable. Honestly, I would just like not do anything about it. I don't even think I would like go and tell someone that like someone left their headlights on. Like let's be honest, I don't think I would do that. I would just be like, mm, that sucks for them and that's probably how it would go. Honestly, I don't even think I would notice. <laughs> I don't even think I would notice someone had their headlights on. I don't notice those things. I'm not a car person. I don't know. Just, I would just ignore it. Question four. After seeing a nice shirt in the store, the second thing you look at is the size or the price. Um, I think it kind of depends on like where I'm at. Like if I'm in like a really expensive store like Macy's or like any department store because department stores get you. Do you guys notice that like you'd be like, oh, this is so cute, and it's like a three hundred dollar shirt. So there, I'd probably check the price first. But 
If I'm at like Target where I feel like everything is pretty generally based like pricing, like you could probably guess what the pricing is going to be or like Forever 21, then I would probably look at the size. Definitely at Forever 21, I would check the sizes because that stuff's always messed up and like you just don't ever know where your sizes are and things are just like bleh, hectic in there. But yeah, so I guess it depends for me. Number five, when buying something on sale, most times are you buying it because you really like it or because it's on sale? Um, I don't know. I've definitely been that person who bought it because it was on sale and I was like, dang, two bucks? I'm buying this. And it was like a tube top that has glitter all over it that I'm never going to wear. But um, I try to only buy things that I think I'm going to wear, but... I'm definitely guilty for like buying things because it was like ridiculously inexpensive and I don't think I'll ever wear it in the moment I think I'm gonna wear it I don't think I ever I'm like I'm buying this because I know I'm not gonna wear it but it's really cheap in the moment I'm thinking I'm gonna wear it but um I'm guilty of that definitely for buying it because it was on sale and I don't actually end up wearing it number six when seeing a tutorial you really like do you see if you have similar colors in your collection or instant Instantly, you use the same ones they used. Um, most likely, I'm just going to like look in my collection. My collection is like getting so out of hand. I have so many products, which reminds me. Um, if you guys would like a makeup collection video, let me know in the comments, and I'll either do it... I'll probably do it on my main channel, but let me know if you guys would want something like that. Um, I know it's a very like controversial topic, which it shouldn't be at all, but I know it is, so... Let me know if you guys would want to see that. But back to the question, I'd probably like shop my stash first and see if I had like any products that would match. And most likely I would because I have so many products. But if I'm like watching a tutorial because I'm interested in buying one of the products that they're using and I liked how they used it in the tutorial and how it worked, then obviously I'm going to buy it. Um, a lot of times I'll watch like demos of products that I'm like thinking about purchasing, like more expensive things like palettes or something like that. And if I liked how it worked out, then obviously I'm going to go and purchase it. Number seven, you're applying mascara. Do you maintain the same face or make the I just saw a ghost face? Um, for my top lashes, I usually, like, I guess, I don't know, let me, I go like this. So, no, not really. But for my bottom lashes, oh yeah, I'm like, I'm like all scrunched up and making like the cutest face possible. Bottom lashes are hard. I don't know. I struggle to do my bottom lashes. So top lashes, I'm just kind of like whatever. And I like can still talk while I'm doing my top lashes. But bottom lashes, no. I need like full concentration. Need to make that awkward face. Like get real scrunched up into myself and apply that mascara. Number eight. When the beeper goes off in the store, you think they forgot to remove a security tag or you think someone slipped something into your bag. Definitely my first thought is not that someone slipped something into my bag. Do people do that? Why would someone do that? I guess maybe someone would do that if they were like trying to get you to steal something for them. I just don't think that actually happens. I don't know. Maybe I'm being naive. Maybe that happens all the time. But um, I definitely think that they like forgot to remove a security tag because that's happened to me so many times in my life. It probably happened to you so many times in your life that like that's your first thought. Because no one has ever slipped something into my bag. That's not my first thought. That's just weird. Don't do that. If you do that, don't do that. That's weird. What's the point in that? Maybe if you like really hate someone. Uh, that's stupid. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Number nine. If you don't like something a friend is wearing, do you lie to spare their feelings or tell them the truth? <gasps> I don't know what I would do. Okay, if it was like my best friend, I would tell them the truth. Like, girl, that is not cute. Let's change, but I would probably be nicer about it. I'd probably be like, oh, I don't really like that too much, but I know that you have like this really cute top in your closet. Let's try that instead. Or like, I know I have something really cute. You can try this. If it was like my best friend, if it's your best friend, like your best friend should not be offended. If you're just trying to look out for them and make sure that they're going to be looking cute, you know, all the time. Now, I'm in a point in my life where I have like these friends who are like my friend crushes, who I'm like trying to make my friend. Is anyone else like this right now? Um, so if it was them, I don't know if I would tell them the truth, like tell them that that shirt wasn't cute because it's like such an awkward, 
moment. I feel like you have to have like this really good connection because girls can get really upset about that and you just might have just ruined the whole night that you're about to have with your friend because you told them that that shirt was ugly. Like, oh, I don't know. I really don't know what I would do. If it was my best friend, homegirl does not care and I would tell her the truth. It was like my friend crush and I'm like trying to make my friend. I really don't know what I would do. Is that bad? Does that make me a bad person? I don't know. I, I don't know. Number 10, do you faithfully remove your makeup every single night or ignore it on the lazy nights? I remove my makeup every single night. It doesn't matter what time it is, how many drinks I've had, I always remove my makeup. Now, do I always wash my face? No. If it's like really late, I'm pulling like an all-nighter or I've had a few too many, then I'm not going to be like scrubbing up my face. But I will definitely take a like makeup remover 100% of the time and remove my face makeup and definitely my eye makeup because I cannot stand the feeling of trying to sleep with makeup on. Like I can't do it. Doesn't matter how tired I am or how wasty pants I am. If I've got makeup on my eyes, I can't sleep. I don't know why I can't. I just can't. Number 11, if your best friend told you a secret you knew could get them in big trouble but also is something that is illegal, do you tell or not? I would not tell. No. My best friend, like, if she came up to me and said that she killed someone, I would be like, I'll hit the shovel. Like, we're in it together. She's my best friend. Like, I would keep a secret for her forever and ever. Even if it was, like, illegal and, like, really bad and get, get her into a lot of trouble now, would I probably, like, give her my opinion about it and try and, like, help her? Yeah, but I would keep it to the grave. She's my, she's my best friend. She's your best friend. I'm going to keep it forever and ever. It's in me forever and it's never coming out. Number 12, if you find something valuable, such as jewelry, a sum of money, a phone, or a wallet on the ground, you try and find the owner, leave it there, or take it. Um, so it depends on what it is because if it's a cell phone, I'm not going to take it. Like that's no, I'm not going to take it. If it's a wallet, you can obviously like return it back to the owner because some form of ID should be in there. Um, if it's a sum of money, I'm probably going to take it. Now, if it's like a grand, like on the ground, I'm not going to take it because no one just loses a grand, like a thousand dollars on the ground without there being something like fishy going on. So if it's a large amount of money, I'm not going, I probably would honestly just like leave it because that something fishy is going on but if it's like 20 bucks I'm sorry I'm gonna take it and but unless like I see someone that's like oh I just lost 20 bucks does anyone see it then I'm gonna be like here it is but if there's no one around and there's 20 bucks on the ground I'm having a good day I'm taking it and I'm buying Starbucks number 13 be honest how many times have you watched Mean Girls I have watched Mean Girls so many times that is my favorite movie it is such a good movie even my husband loves that movie it's so funny. I love it. I quote it on the daily. I Mean Girls is awesome. I love it. Number 14, which Mean Girl character are you? I, hmm, I think I would say I'm Gretchen Wieners because I do have a lot of secrets. Is that weird? Like I know a lot of things about people. It's because I'm a Libra. People can find in me. But um, I think I would be Gretchen Wieners. Number 15, your friend's ex asked you out. Would you say yes? Is that a real, is that I read that right? If your friend's ex, no way. I would never say yes. Do not say yes. That is like, oh, that goes against everything women stand for for each other. You do not date your friend's ex. That's weird. And also, wouldn't you think, like constantly be thinking that that ex is like comparing you to your friend? Plus, you probably know all of this like really bad stuff about the ex because your friend has told you and it's just awkward. And then like you're gonna feel uncomfortable when you wanna hang out with your friend and you want your boyfriend to come because it's her ex. Like, no way, no, I would never say yes, no. I mean, unless it's like a million years down the road. Even then, I don't think I would say yes. No, that is weird. No, don't do it. So that is everything for the what kind of girl am I tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments below if you enjoy this style of video on my vlog channel or if you would prefer just vlogs on my vlog channel. You can tell me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Just 
tell me in the comments below. I'm also going to tag some people in the description box. Um, but if you haven't done this tag, go do it. You don't need to be tagged. You don't have to be tagged by me. You can say you're tagged by me. I don't care. Just go do it. It's super fun, and you talk about Mean Girls. So, I mean, come on. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you very soon in my next one. Bye.